customizing your workspace. There's a lot of way you can customize Photoshop. Let's say if you want to customize your interface, general interface, you can go to edit under edit. You can find this preferences. Under preferences, it's either you want to click individual setup or you can click the general. The shortcut for that is control K. So click on that and it will pop up this dialog box. If you click on the interface, you can change the color of the interface. This is the default. As you can see, the default, the, the blue, the blue lines here, which with, with a gray interface, dark gray interface, and there's a more dark or darkest uh, interface, and the light gray and the white. If you click on the black interface, it will change the interface into this. Once you click OK, so that's the interface, or you can change it. Go back to edit under edit general. You can change the interface into default again or lighter gray. In other version of Photoshop, the older version, the default color is white. But if you want to change the color of the interface, you can go and change it here. There's also white color and other other tools here you can change you can tweak uh, some tools here or i mean some preferences here if you're working with 3d you can adjust some settings here for this i won't go through all this uh, setup i was just going to show you on how you can change the interface that's how you can change it and click ok Another way to change your interface, it's let's say this is the dark one. You can right click on this and change to black or dark gray, medium gray, gray, light gray, or any right click on this or you can change different color. Say blue, the default color is blue, but you can change the color by selecting the select custom color. And you can change different color you want. Say I want the green. Click OK and it will change to green. But if you want to revert it back to the default, you can right click on this area or or here. Right click here and change to default. Either, either way it will function. Or if you want to create your own workspace, you can go to here. On the drop down by default the interface of Photoshop is essential there's uh, another interface like 3d graphic and web motion painting if you click one of those it will change the interface into the setup which is intended for their purposes for 3d if you are working with 3d or graphic and motion or graphic and web also motion painting photography you can also create your own uh, workspace let's say we select the essential first we are going to copy the the setup of the essential and let me just click it and customize this one go you can drag and drop or stretch here so it will give you more space here so let's say i'm in the essential and i want to create my own workspace you can click new workspace say just draft work space and click save as you click on this, we are now in workspace of just draft. Now we can change the workspace. Let's say I want to remove this color 
color panel I can click on that and drag it down here and click X X and I, I will just put what I want say this libraries and drag it there also I want to remove the adjustment I can do that and I can revert it back to essential th this way or I, wa I want to go back to my workspace can do that way so you can also add to your interface by going to windows let's say I, I want to add brush properties so whenever I'm using brush I can hover it here and change some settings say if I'm working with brush then I can choose different settings I want also to add some let's say brush settings it's already there let's add uh, character settings we under windows see action no not this one let me drag it there and click x this paragraph styles let's say i'm the, i have text i'm doing some text here then i want to adjust i can go here and change so i will adjust add also paragraph you can add more here from here and you can add it to here see the the adjustment of the text you can also move this or rearrange this you can also do that say so i want this at the bottom or on this once it's blue that means you can snap it there or you want you can drag it you can drag the entire there or you can put it back again snap it there so you can customize your interface that way So that's how you customize your workspace in Photoshop. So I hope this video tutorial helps you. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.